Hello and welcome back guys to our channel. So on our previous video, I already showed you on how to load data on our main form. So now, we will try to cover the create, edit, and refresh. So let's get started. So first, we need to add a new form for our create and edit function. That is add windows form let's name it from customer AE AE for add edit and then we need to make it as metro form form right click resolve using okay go back so that's metro form Let's change the text customer. Okay, so next we need to create a metro link. So for our add and edit so this text, let's name it MNK save. And then we need to create an image, add an image here. Image. Let's go this one. Apply. Then the other one, no focus, so which is all okay. So nice. Okay, so default size, image size, image size, it's 32. Okay, so let's say size is a bit. Okay, so let's put it on the side, copy, paste, and then let's name it. LMK cancel. Okay, let's change the image. Okay, so now let's put it inside the play. So we now have here the save and cancel button. Now let's create the text box fields of our database. We will create text box for each of this field. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, six. And let's add a label. Okay, and then text box. So for the text box, let's name it LBA code. And this one's txt. Okay, add the label to change the font size to small and change the text to bold. This one, okay, watermark, change the bold font small. So let's change the size of this to 25. Okay, and then let's align this. Okay, so now we have the text box for our code. So next one is first name, middle name, last name, contact number. So let's just copy this, please. So now we need to add the field for contact number and email. Okay, so now we need to adjust our form, but before that we need to change the anchor of this uh, buttons. So we need to change the anchor from top to left. We will change it to top to right. Okay. So that when we adjust the width 
and the size of our form as you can see it is moving together with the form Hi, by the way we need to change the control box we need to set this to false so that it will not show the minimize maximize and then close button here of our form and then resizable let's set it to false so now let's try to add the code for our uh, customer add edit form okay open this okay so under let's make an optional uh, parameter of customer id so it's just long customer id plus to zero so this makes this uh, parameter optional if we set this equal to zero and then we will uh, create a global variable long customer id plus to zero so from where you can assign the value of the parameter customer id to the underscore customer id so why do we need this variable so because we're going to use also this form for our edit function that's why if it's zero this means it's add if we the customer id is not zero this means we are going to edit something okay so now let's try to call our form from our main form okay so create so let's call it rrm -E -E. uh, add form equals to frm add form form style manager equals to this point style manager so we can apply whatever style is currently on our main form to the customer ae form so forgot to put me here okay add form point show dialog and let's set the parents as this so this piece of code will show our add edit form for customer okay so let's go back to customer let's try to put the code for back okay so this is put this point close and then for the save so we need to create a code for this so so for this we just create a sql script based on the input that we have so let's just create a string sql insert into so need to insert now a table customer Okay. then we need to add all the fields from our except the customer id so just put code first name middle name last name uh, contact number number and email okay so values so let's just put zero one two three four and five so this is parameterized string so we need to pass values to each of this so we need to do something like sql equals to sql that string ah, sorry so we need to do something that format okay pass the sql and then now we need to pass the each text box to this respective section so first we need to pass code which is corresponds to zero 
txt code point text the next is first name txt f name point text the next is txt middle name point text txt last name l name point text then txt contact number point text and last is txt email point text Okay, so now it should create a SQL script that will insert a record to the table customer which is DBL customer. So let's just check our class function if I already created. Uh, so this one doesn't have an execute uh, method so we need to create a, that method here. To create public static execute sql execute uh, should be bool and then should accept parameter string So let's just complete the SQL execute function. So we just need to bool success equals to true then return success. Okay, so we just copy this one, but we now don't need this. So instead of adapter, we're going to use my SQL command. Then do it at ADP point execute SQL query. So let's try. We try catch. So if there's try catch. So if there's any error during execution, we will just change the success to equals to false. So this means the executing of the SQL script failed, so we need to return. Okay, so let's go back here. Now our customer added it. So let's just do the if functions. So plus SQL execute, then pass the SQL. So this means if the execution is success, then we will go back to our form close. So what we need to do is this dialog salt SQS salt. Okay. Okay, so for close we need to do a dialog. Just change the console so we need to notify our main form that the user click cancel instead of save so after ok so we just do the this one close ok so now let's go back to our main form so let's do on our show dialog if show dialog is equals to dialog result ok so means the user tries to save and it was successful then we will do a reload so it will refresh the data on our phone okay so let's try to quickly add the code for the refresh so for the refresh it will just reload the data so we just need to call the load data okay so now let's try if our create works function works Okay. Create. So our form appears. So success. Let's try to enter. So this is happy scenario. Let's click save. So we need to debug back to our project. Go to the save function here. 
that you can debug here and also on the function here. Let's see why it is failing. Okay. Click the click save again. Next good. The oh, we missed something here. So we don't have a semicolon here and we don't have the end closing. So just the closing here. Single quote. And here semicolon. Save. Try to run again. Remove the breakpoint. Test. Test. Again. Right. And let's save. Boom. And here. SQL. Check if it's okay. So everything seems okay. Let's try to continue. Execute. Oh, still fail. Ah, okay. Connection must be open and valid. Okay, so we need to open first our connection. Do hit from open. Let us get finally. If on point state connection state open then we need to do close okay try again quick save check Okay, seems executed successfully. Close. Success is true. So it should set. It's okay. And then continue. Okay. So let's go at the bottom. So you can see the record was inserted successfully. Okay. So let's try to create another one. again okay so it reloads so as you can see it is added here on our application so we have successfully created the functionality for create and refresh so to make this video short so we will just do the uh, edit and delete and search on the next video so hopefully you learn something from here and hopefully I can see you in the next video and once again, hope you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. Bye.